Also just in tonight, sweeping changes could be coming to the way you travel. In just hours, Orlando International Airport officials will discuss getting rid of TSA agents. News 6's Jennifer Ortega is live at OIA with what you can expect. Jen. It's something only a handful of airports have done, but tomorrow OIA will detail a proposal that could replace TSA with a private company to secure our checkpoints. Tonight, travelers we spoke to say it has its pros and its cons. I would have to wait and see. I mean, most often when something is privatized, there's a for-profit motive and they may actually cut back on employees to save money. Harvey and Lynn Rubin say they travel in and out of the Orlando International Airport regularly and have never had a problem with TSA. They know the lines are long and they make sure to come early. You don't know what the private company is going to do. If they cut back on employees, even though the service may be better, the lines will still be longer. The Greater Orlando Aviation Authority announced at its last monthly meeting they're considering an idea to use contract employees in the future, hoping to benefit travelers with better customer service and shorter wait times through security points. But not everyone agrees with the idea. Private companies will tell you that all the time to get the government jobs and it usually doesn't work out that way. Right now, 22 commercial airports in the country out of 450 have made similar moves, but it's still unclear if the changes are noticeable enough for travelers. The uh, government is doing a good job now. Why change? Mm -hmm. I wouldn't change. We use, uh, we use this airport all the time and we've never had any issues. So. Mm -hmm. yeah. I like it the way it is. Now, OIA has released last year was a record year for travel. 44.6 million passengers came through this airport. That's the busiest in the state. That press conference tomorrow will start at 1 p.m. Live at the Orlando International Airport, Jennifer Ortega, News 6. All right, Jen, thanks.